Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the new Gigabyte Aero 15, which is a 15.6 inch laptop, weighs about 4.4 pounds, which is relatively lightweight for a machine that's available with up to a Core i9 processor and uh, NVIDIA RTX 20 series ray tracing graphics. Uh, it's aimed at both uh, professionals and gamers alike. It's definitely got that consumer level graphics card for, for gaming, but you could use it for video editing and other things. And it's a little bit less of a sort of flashy gaming centric design than some of the others. But what really makes this model a little bit different from some of the previous versions is that uh, Gigabyte is calling it an AI powered machine because it uses Microsoft Azure's cloud uh, services to, uh, with machine learning to sort of optimize performance for different situations. So the idea is that if you use it to play certain games or do other uh, sorts of work with it, it'll upload some of your data to the cloud, uh, with your permission, of course, and uh, and then it'll uh, figure out how to best optimize. Like if you're not going to use as much CPU and you're going to use more GPU, it can lower the wattage to increase uh, battery life while you're playing that game or doing other things. Or if you need more CPU performance and less GPU, then it can sort of adjust that appropriately. So it uses this Gigabyte Control Center software uh, in conjunction with uh, the cloud learning Learning. And what it'll do is it'll figure out sort of how you use your laptop, but it'll also figure out how other people are using their laptops and sort of combine all of that data together to create the best recommendations. Now, if you don't have an internet connection, it'll cache some of that. So you'll get maybe not instantaneous, you know, brand new, fresh, up-to-date information, but um, but you'll get uh, whatever's stored, and then the next time you connect to the internet, it'll, it'll sort of work. Um, now, of course, because there is a cloud service involved, it's a little unclear long-term what that's going to mean in terms of price. This is a pretty expensive laptop. It's going to sell for about $2,500 and up. And for, uh, from what I'm told, for at least the first uh, year or two or however long it's under warranty, you're not going to have to pay any extra for that cloud service. It's a little unclear if you hang on to this for five years, are you still going to have that cloud connection? But uh, it's a possibility. It, it might be something that is sort of offered as a premium thing, or maybe it'll become some sort of subscription service. Uh, this is brand new, the AI, the Azure. Uh, so we'll sort of see moving forward. Uh, taking a look at the design of the laptop, you can see that it's got a very large uh, uh, island-style keyboard with uh, decent key travel. It seems a little higher than some. Uh, we've got room for a numeric keypad on the side here, and the display has fairly small bezels on the top and uh, sides, a little bit larger on the bottom here, and there's a, a camera below the screen, which is not my favorite place for webcams, <laughs> but it does allow for a sort of smaller profile because of the uh, way things work on the top there. So uh, the, the problem with putting them on the bottom sometimes is that you'll see um, uh, it's sort of interesting uh, there's not touch screen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll see a sort of interesting uh, angle here, but you know, if I sort of look down at it, it's not too bad. So um, I keep wanting to touch up to the screen. Um, you've got uh, plenty of ports here. You've got USB Type C. Uh, is that Thunderbolt? Yeah, that's a Thunderbolt 3 port, USB Type A ports, an SD card slot. And then coming around to the other side, you can see it's plugged in via HDMI to an external display. Or is that display port? No, it's HDMI. Uh, USB, uh, Ethernet, USB Type-C is that another Thunderbolt or just Type-C? No, this uh, one is, uh, is a new port. It's okay. a Type-C display port. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so you can connect two displays there and then the headset jack, of course. And if we look at the back, uh, again, it's sort of... Uh, a little bit less ostentatious than I think some of the gaming uh, specific laptops. It's got a kind of more um, subtle design here and actually it looks pretty nice I would say. So at, uh, at four and a half pounds, a little bit less than four and a half pounds, it weighs two kilograms or 4.4 pounds. It's surprisingly lightweight for a laptop with this kind of horsepower um, and it, some of the horsepower is uh, is optimized using the, the machine learning. So that's sort of uh, the, the key new feature here in addition, of course, to the latest processor and the latest graphics. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the new AI laptop, uh, the Gigabyte Aero 15 from uh, Gigabyte at CES 2019.